Thank you so much for tuning in to today's Karis Talks. Please stay tuned for my friend Lance Williams. <laughs> he has got an awesome story about how God has transformed his life and just put him on a new, um, a new path. Stay tuned. Amen. Hey friends, thank you so much for tuning in to today's Karis Talks. I've got my good buddy, Lance Williams. What's up, Clay, brother? good to be with you, brother. It's so good to have you on the show today. So the first question is, where are you from with that excellent accent? Paragold, Arkansas. Arkansas. We will probably yeah. call the hogs. We'll explain that for you guys that don't know what that means. Yeah. Towards the end of this. But that's awesome, man. You're here from Arkansas. Mm -hmm. And what year are you? Third year. Third year, what track are you taking? Ministry school. Ministry school. Yep. So tell me a little bit about ministry school. What have you gotten out of ministry school this year? Well, uh, the first couple of years, it was like we just really received a lot. I mean, so much revelation. And this year, it's just they've really helped us get that flow going and get that revelation out and showed us how to how to do things with, um, you know, different church s systems and stuff. And I'm in the evangelism elective. so. Yeah. Steve's really been teaching us um, how to do evangelism, how to really just get that revelation out to Steve other people. Steve Bartlett, yes. Yeah. He's quite the evangelist. Yeah. And uh, is a great teacher here. And uh, what, what have you learned about being an evangelist? You're already an outgoing extrovert. <laughs> <laughs> well, the biggest thing I've learned is just keep it natural. and. Mm -hmm. That's, As an evangelist. I, yeah, I, like we'll go out and just strike up conversation like with Jesus at the well. He said, give me a drink, you know, mm -hmm. and that's, that's all it takes. <laughs> I mean, yeah. and then he connected with a girl. And then later, it ended up turning the whole city around. Yeah. So that's, it's the same. I just get common ground with people and then start steering the conversation towards mm -hmm. Jesus, mm -hmm. what really matters. Yeah, so. He's done some quite a few things in your life, hasn't he? Oh, yes. Which uh, kind of leads us to our next question is, how did you hear about Karis Bible College? Well, I was a meth addict, mm -hmm. and I had a, I mean, I had a needle in my arm every day in and out of prison, and my grandma, uh, Kay Williams, she'd been inviting Nana me. Kay. Yeah, Nana <laughs> Kay. I love her. She'd been inviting me to come to Karis for over a year, and I mm -hmm. turned it down and said, I'm not going to Bible college in Colorado. Mm -hmm. And then I had a four-hour encounter with the Lord. It really opened my eyes to some things. And then I, after that, I would go outside. I'd actually get high and go outside and talk with God. Mm -hmm. And on that, I did that for three days straight. I'd get high and just go outside and just mm -hmm. talk with God. And I was so lonely inside, so hurting. And mm -hmm. uh, on that third day, it's just something in me just changed. It's just like Jesus just resurrected my heart. I mean, just mm -hmm. called my heart out of the grave. And all of a sudden I had a desire to take up this Bible college that she yeah. was talking about. So yeah. that's how I heard about it. That's exciting. We, we do kind of have a similar kind of story. Mm -hmm. And it's awesome to see how God's kind of, in three short years, mm -hmm. has kind of taken you on quite the ride. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Amen. And, Brought um, me out of a mess. A mess, yeah. I, I, I know when I moved here, it was the same deal. Yeah. Um, but uh, what do you think the biggest revelation you think you've gotten since you've been here? I'll tell you this. I've gotten a lot of revelations, uh -huh. but I have caught a lifestyle. Mm. I've caught a lifestyle. I've, all the instructors I've really received from, mm -hmm. but um, I've caught a lifestyle from Andrew Womack. Mm -hmm. And just how everything with him is, is God. It's, he has no confidence in himself, and that's something that I've caught I have no confidence in myself. I know that it's all God. Mm -hmm. uh, where I am now is because of God, and where I'm going to be is because of God. And I've just learned in, in 1 Peter, it says, cast your cares upon the Lord, for he cares for you. Yeah. And I have, Andrew didn't teach me that. It's like I caught that from mm -hmm. him, and it's totally yeah. changed my life. Sitting in class, and he's teaching, and you're just kind of like, Yes, it's like his lifestyle, I've caught it. Yeah. I've caught it for myself, and I'm mm -hmm. walking it out. Mm -hmm. And I really walk, the way that I walk now is I just cast all my care upon the Lord. And, mm -hmm. you know, if, uh, if good things happen, I know it's, I know it's God. And mm -hmm. So it's just, it's really just transformed my life. I just, I realize that God does meet all my needs. Mm -hmm. And if my needs aren't met, it's because I didn't need it. <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah. So, you know, it's always, it's always 
So cool. And kind of the reason why we do the Karis Talk is, you know, there's so many stories of students that are walking around the campuses. You know, we have multiple campuses and everything, but, you know, it's so cool to see somebody come in, much like ourselves, come in and have one state of mind that we're in, hurts and, you know, mm. everything that kind of goes into the drug lifestyle. Yeah. And then in three short years, it is like a complete different life. Mm -hmm. And what is that? How do you kind of compare like what your life was like and where your mindset was? And then what is your life like? I know you, you kind of answered that, but, you know, give some kind of details to that. Well, I was so miserable before. I mean, I'll just say this real quick, that I was to a place, I heard when you get to a certain place, you either turn suicidal or homicidal. And mm -hmm. I was actually going to a house with a machete down my pants leg. Uh, and I had bad intentions. Yeah. And I was just that hurt. After coming to Karis, wow. I just got set free. I mean, the the first year, I remember standing up in class and just shouting because... <laughs> Because of the freedom that yeah. I was getting, I mean, mm -hmm. it's like these this bondage, just these these chains were just falling off mm -hmm. of my heart and falling off of, of of me totally. I mean, physically, spiritually, emotionally, I was just getting set free, and it just it was just a freedom that I didn't know how to handle at the time. Yeah. I mean, I was so excited first year. <laughs> And I'm still just as excited, yeah. but I channel that back into the Word of God, back mm -hmm. into the things mm -hmm. of God, and back into mm -hmm. other people, instead of just running around wanting to chest bump everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> that's awesome. You did say something about sickness, though. I mean, that's something else that we kind of shared is uh, being sick with Crohn's disease. Mm -hmm. You know, and I know my, my journey with that was like, you know, I've been healed for several years, but I didn't get healed overnight. Mm -hmm. It was like a process of like hearing healing hearing teachings about healing, starting to change my mind, start kind of being more on the offensive mm -hmm. with that. I mean, what was your what was your journey like with uh, healing? Well, I, mine was where mine would just flare up and I'd have to have emergency surgery. I have two surgeries, wow. one when I was 15, one when I was 19. And I didn't eat for 20 plus days uh, during them surgeries. And anyway, they said- Was that like a, a fast that you were? <laughs> no, I wish I would have known about fasting. I would have dedicated <laughs> to the Lord. <laughs> But I didn't know about fasting then. Yeah. But I, I remember when I was in there, I was I was even like, I stole syringes and was shooting up meth in my the pick line that goes to your heart. And just stupid stuff. And But it, since I've been seeking the Lord, they told me I'd have to have surgery every two to five years mm -hmm. because of scar tissue buildup. Yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. And it's been, I think it's been six years or more and I haven't had the surgery, and I won't have a surgery. Yeah. And I've, I've really, since I've been seeking God with all my heart, I have had no issues with it mm -hmm. whatsoever. And I, I know I'm healed of that, and I've been healed of some other yeah. things. And yeah. it's just, it, I just turn my heart to the Lord, and He has just healed me mm -hmm. throughout. So you've had like this real experience with God that's been, you can, like almost like a tangible experience of His love, mm -hmm. a tangible experience of His healing power, mm -hmm. and that is just... Man, that is too awesome. And he's imparted to me a lifestyle of faith. Mm. And it's totally just, it's like I'm just walking out of all this mm -hmm. sickness and mm -hmm. disease and sin. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm walking away from it. And I'm, I'm just stepping out on faith in God and all these things are being left in the dust, man. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. so if there's any question that I could ask you right now in this interview, what, what would the question be? And uh, what's the answer? Why Karis? Lance, why Karis? <laughs> what makes Karis what it is? And Karis is definitely separated from, from what I've heard of all uh, some other Bible colleges and stuff, mm -hmm. and I'm not downplaying them, yeah. but Karis, God is really moving through Karis. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, Karis is the premier Bible college across the land, and it's, it's going to continue to be that. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, Karis, for me, it's just been a runway. I mean, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how to seek God. Sure, you I, know? I get it, man. Yeah. All I knew was just talk with him. And I come to Karis somehow. That's a miracle in itself. But just sitting under the Word and just listening to these these uh, ministers that has years of experience, it's just set me free and allowed me to take off and take off on this runway and get some speed in the things of God mm -hmm. and really just get airborne in the things of God. And now I'm really flying into what God has called me to do and what he has for me, the blessing of God. 
And but it, it takes getting off of the ground and actually going for yeah. it. And in doing that, Karis has been the way for me. And I believe it's the premier way out there to really mm -hmm. launch launch off into the things of God. Yeah. So. I love it, Lance. I love it, man. <laughs> it's so good. So, you know, somebody might be tuning in right now. They don't know much about Karis or anything about Karis Bible College or Andrew Womack. And um, what would you tell somebody that's tuning in right now and hearing your story? What would you tell them about Karis Bible College and maybe why they should go? <laughs> well, as I was just talking about it, um, it really helped me take off mm -hmm. in the things of God. And coming here, it is just cutting edge revelation. Mm -hmm. I mean, the doctrine is on point and... It's just, they back everything with scripture. Mm -hmm. And when, when there's an opinion given, they say, this is my opinion. So everything is backed from the word of God. And that is the most, most powerful way to do it. So when somebody coming here, you will experience the freedom because the truth sets people free. Oh, yeah. And this, this school, that's what it's based on is truth, the truth in the word of God. And I guarantee, I guarantee, <laughs> <laughs> if you come here, if, if somebody tuning in, if, if you come here, you will be set free and you will launch off into the things of God and you will be on your way to what God has called you to do. That's awesome, Lance. So, Brother, thank transform. you so much for being here today. And uh, thank you so much for tuning in to today's Karis Talks. Thanks for watching this episode of Karis Talks. To learn more about Karis Bible College, visit our website today. Hey friends, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of today's Karis Talks. Is God speaking to you? Are you wanting more information about Karis Bible College? Click this link below, get a little more information. Also, if you've enjoyed this testimony, like, share, and subscribe to this channel to hear more awesome stories of what God's doing here in Karis Bible College.